sitting in the studio with none other than the heaviest man in Vinci Soka Music and soon to be the region. Trying to put you on the back one. Yeah, 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 put me on the back one. A small phrase now, small phrase. No, boy, I'll let the big boy them go first, you know. Better than we will tell you. All right, man. You started it? No, no, you know, you know, you know, I'll go down there. I, 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 I would say, you know. say please. We made it popular. No, we made it popular. Of course, and that's, that's what we are. To me, we as artists, are, we're supposed to be trendsetters. To come about ways in making them be one, make us be one. Yeah, thanks for coming. You know, I had itchy foot as a child. <laughs> Okay, welcome viewers to IKTV. This time we have an exclusive interview with Mr. Cameron, a local soccer artist residing in New York in the USA. Cameron, how are you? I'm good, man. Thanks You're for good. having me. All right. Okay, so I'm going to start start off one time. Who are you? Where are you from? We know you're Vincent, but where exactly is St. Vincent are you from? I'm from New Grounds, New North Grounds. Union. North yes. Union. Okay, um, give us a bit about your background. Tell us a bit about your childhood. Well, you know, as a child, you had to go to school and you had to make sure to go to church and Sunday <laughs> uh, school. Vincent so, culture. Exactly. So yeah. that's all I knew growing up mm -hmm. and so forth. And, you know, I was into track and field. So I was a good runner, pretty good. Oh. And, you know, I got into soccer also. So I had that mixture of stuff. And I would get to learn how to play table tennis in, in high school. I went to North Union Secondary School. So, you know, I got to big that up, big that school up because without them, I don't think all this would have would have happened. Cause, yeah, album I you know, Yeah, I started. That's where I really, really started playing around with writing and so forth. So I've been do, I've been writing, playing around with lyrics for a very long time since I was in Form 1. Okay. So when you started writing, did it, was it automatically soccer music you were writing for? No, because I was, I, I was a fan of just music. So uh, you know, you know, you grow up, you grow up, you know, you had to listen to country music, you had to listen to R and B, you know, the, the Judy Bouchers, and and so I had a mixture of different kind of music I used to listen to. So I used to just play around, listen to some lyrics here and there, and then try to format it in a different way, and so mm -hmm. forth. But my passion has always been soca, definitely. Okay, but, um, okay, but why soca? Why soca? Because it, it, I think, I think it, it was planted inside of you. You know, as a Vincentian, you know, uh, it it was it was already instilling you. So it's mm -hmm. something that I always felt passionate about because it never gets its justice. Because uh, if you notice, soca is all about fun, laughter, enjoyment, drinking. You know, you don't hear war. You don't hear anything about you know guns, uh, unless guns and shooting. Right, you don't hear guns and shooting in a soca song like jump and wave, let me shoot some guns. Up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, you don't hear that. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's joyful music and, you know, it, it makes people, when I, I remember growing up, my uncle who played, he, he used to play um, music for mm -hmm. Afos Jusos, um, that band, and, um, you know, I remember seeing how, how people in the community used to just party and just enjoy themselves, and then they go home and then, you know, that, that was it. So, uh, I, I admire those kind of things. Okay. Okay, so you start. You said you started writing from Form 1, but what age did you get into soccer? Then a long time after. <laughs> a long time after because um, I, even though I was playing around it, it, it I was, uh, people don't really know this, but I'm a very shy guy, you know. Uh -huh. I really don't like public. I, okay. Trust me, if I could stay in the background for the rest of my life, mm -hmm. I, I will enjoy that. But, you know, it took me a while because, um, even though I was playing around, I mean, I remember, you know, during school days and so forth, some of my friends, we would all be just singing and I'd be making up stuff and they, they would keep saying, boy, Cameron, man, you should really, really take this thing forward and I'd be like, nah, man, you know, this is just fun for me, you know, and then mm. in church, you know, my, my grandmother who died, um, she died last year, actually, uh, so, 
she I remember one time I, I sang in church and mm -hmm. you know tears was in, in her eyes man. You yeah. know, yeah. Is that good? Uh, I wouldn't say it's that good, but <laughs> I what think, the lyrics was that good? I, yeah, I think I think she really felt like um damn, look at her grandson and you know, it's right. like everybody was just so focused on on, on me uh, up there singing and so forth. I remember when I came up, you know, I had like real respectable people, you know, coming to me and be like, you know, I really touched them and so forth. So mm -hmm. I think it it all that start bringing, I start reminiscing and, and so forth. So I remember one time I was in the studio in, in New York City with um, Parry Jack right. and a couple other artists and they all was like, Yo, yo, camera man, you, you know, you, you're writing for a couple other people, you're doing these things, why don't you just do a song? So I was like, okay, I'll think about that, you know, and so forth. And 2010, well, tw 29, I actually did my first track and so forth. But 2010 is when I really, I would say I had a breakout in the sense, uh, for the music wise, when I did a song called Against the Wall. So. Okay. So yeah. before that, you were writing for other people. Yeah, other yes, yeah, I've been writing for a um, couple other artists. Um, most of them wasn't really Vincentians, was mostly out of Caribbean countries, Dominica, um, same kids, mm -hmm. um, Trinidad. I it, it did some work, uh, help out some artists, you know, as far as their careers and so forth. I was mostly like helping out artists with their careers uh, because I had a company called Black Roots Promotion. So okay. I was like the middle man trying to get their music out there and so forth. So, so you were literally in the background, the shy yes, guy prefers. Yes, the shy guy, the shy guy, that's all I, that's all I, that was my first passion in a sense, you know, mm. to help. Because to me, it don't make any sense you're doing something and you're not helping somebody else. I, I feel okay. like you all, I think it's an obligation, you know, you can't be selfish with it. Okay, okay so you know, Trinidad Carnival is coming up. Yeah. And IKTV is definitely going down to Trinidad, so yes. y'all expect yes. that we're going to Trinidad for Trinidad Carnival <laughs> 2014. Okay, so are you heading to Trinidad? For yes, I'm heading there. Um, the song, the Body and Body, actually, mm -hmm. has, you know, I released that song in September, and from the time I released it, you know, I, I remember um, a lot of my Trini DJs was reaching out to me, and, you know, which one, one of them was, the one, one of them actually, Convince me, yo, camera. The song is that good. Release mm -hmm. it now. Don't, don't, don't wait and hold it back. And, and, I, and I did that. And you know, so far the kind of vibes I'm getting uh, and the feedbacks is, is mm -hmm. been overwhelming. I mean, I've I've done over probably close to 30 interviews already for that that just that one song. Okay. So, yeah. so you're gonna be performing in Trinidad? Well, there's some stuff in the making. Um, I personally um, not saying that. I don't expect to go down to Trinidad and mash up the place and perform mm -hmm. any in any shows or whatever. But there's some people down there who's looking out for me and trying to see what they could do. But you know, if I go down there and just just to network, I'm happy with that because you know, it, the beauty the beauty about music is once you get in, mm -hmm. that that's that's really what matters. You just want to get in. Okay. Okay. So you said um, to network. So this is raising a question now in my head. Who, which Trinidadian artist do you admire the most? Right now? Yes. Man, a lot. But you know you know who I will tell you, and people probably will be shocked, but mm -hmm. it's because I, I know where he came from, how he really got into it. It's lyrical because uh, when I did my first show in Boston, mm -hmm. lyrical, much people didn't even know who he was. So I kind of like, um, Raga introduced me to lyrical and said, yo, you know, put him on the bill. And you know, I wasn't hesitant. At all. I, I said, you know, because like I said, it's all about about togetherness for me and so forth. And I put him on, and the dude mashed up Boston, oh, literally. Yeah. And from ever since then, we we developed a very close relationship. Like I said, and you know, so I would say he he because I he worked hard. He put in the work, and I see the results. But mm -hmm. you know, you can't you can't leave out Marshall in anything. You can't leave him out because <laughs> he has set a standard. He have pave a lot of ways for a lot of people and so forth. So yeah. I would say, yeah, Marshall, Marshall I mean, I, I'm, I, yeah. And Maya Cowen too, because I mean, that's a great writer right there. And you know what, the directions where the music is going, I think it, we're, mm -hmm. we're heading in the right direction now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, in terms of the, the releases, Marshall Montana and Cohen Dubois, I'm putting you on the spot here. For all the, all the releases for the 2014 mm -hmm. Carnival, which is your favorite of both artists? 
Or should I narrow it down for you? No, I don't have to narrow it down. Okay. Um, I don't really, say, I really won't say I have a favorite, but I will say this. Mute, soca music, the jumping wave stuff is local. To me, those music stays where they're supposed to stay. They, they probably, mm -hmm. you know, but as far as where we really need to go, into the music, international market and so forth. Mm -hmm. I would say that epic song for Marshall kind of have that vibes that can take him, you know, like to spread more of his wings and so on, which he already did, you know, mm -hmm. but I'm saying, so I like epic. I like the, I like the whole, con I like the melody. I like, I like the, the EP, I see that vibes because you mm -hmm. would not, people would not, the regular person would not have heard that a few years ago, someone mm -hmm. saying EP, you know, like, actually, instead you might hear epic, you oh, know, you might say, oh, yeah. epic, epic, you know, something like yeah, that, but you yeah. won't, you know, so I like how mm -hmm. he changed it up there, and then for me, Too Real for Corwin is a, is a track that I, I'm re I really like, because mm -hmm. I like, again, where he went with it, you know, he didn't, he didn't, he went local with it, but not too local, enough that people could understand what he was saying and kept it local still, so I like that. Okay. I like I like the direction. Okay, right here on IK TV, um, our, our one of our hosts, Tejo, had uh, an interview with um, Skinny Fabulous. Okay. And the abbreviation thing, the EPA and HMA and BW right. thing, we 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 drew the assumption that Skinny Fabulous helped with the pushing of this. What do you have to say for that one? Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. I mean, you still got it. Yeah, of course. I would say uh, that too because I mean. You know, you know, you had H H M A, and then you Happy had B T W. You know, right. you know, behave in the world. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, yeah, of course, uh, and that's that's what mm -hmm. we are. To me, we as artists are we're supposed to be trendsetters, and to me, that's what I try to 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 to, to be. I, I don't want to be compared to, even though you will. I don't want to be compared as the, another skinny or another this or another that. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm Cameron, and I'm, I want to yeah. set my own own style my own way and so forth so that's 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 something that i i believe in so you know but you know i mean it's soca music either way you look at it uh -huh. you know it's happening okay so i did some checking and uh, i found that you're a father um how do you balance your family life with your entertainment because you are you okay. are an entertainer Thank you are a public figure how do you balance it with your family um uh, well balancing to me, that's 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 easy, you know, mm. because I've always loved I've, I've loved kids. I, I've always been a fan of growing up. You know, I was always friendly with everybody, kids in the neighborhood, and so so I always loved kids. And when I had my mm -hmm. own, it was it was a joy. And you know, um, they've come along with because um, you know they lost their mom um, about seven years ago. Mm -hmm. So I had to be a mother and a father. So I, and I know what it's like, because I've seen how a lot of people within my community goes about dealing with their children on, alone, you know, without a father, or, you know, so I, I always, I made an oath the day when I, when I had my children that I was going to be a father 110% all the time. And, there's some, they, they, they some, they, they're two wonderful kids, man. I, I couldn't ask for two better kids because they, they keep me balanced. They, they keep me grounded, mm -hmm. and so forth. And you know, they, 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 they they're always there. They got my back, you know. And before when I decided to, to, to get more serious into the music, mm -hmm. you know, I remember, you know, I had a conversation with them and I asked them what they think, and you know, you know, they, they said yes, daddy. You know, we, you know, go ahead, do it, you know, and so forth. And, so I'm, I'm doing so, it then. So your decisions are family based. Yes, they are because without to me to me you can't you can't just decide to go make a decision and do involve your your family because mm -hmm. you know that's where your first support is coming from, and uh, you know that's that that that's where it starts. So I had to get them involved, and they're all I got. So everything I do, it, it's for them. It's to better better their life because I don't want them to to grow up and their future is not bright so oh, okay. yeah okay so I, I'm, I'm a shift I'm a shift back back to the entertainment for a bit um, in terms of artists you mm -hmm. mind naming a few artists that you've worked with worked with yeah as far as help uh, well I've worked with almost uh, um, 
A lot of the Vincent Jean artists, I um, mean, mm -hmm. I've worked with James E.P., I've worked with Luta, I've worked with, um, as far as helping them get their music out there and so forth, you okay. know, on a wider level, on a wider scale. Um, work with, work, work with um, Scorpion, help him out with his music, getting it out there, like I said, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, it, I, I've never been selfish with it, you know, no matter who artist, it was a wise guy, you know, he's a new and upcoming artist, he did very well. Um, last well the year before with mm -hmm. um, Bumper, um, that oh, song Bumper, yes. yeah, uh -huh. yeah, he did very well there. So I've helped him out. I, I did some writing for him also and so forth. And uh, we had Harella, she's from Dominica originally. She lives in the BBI. You know, um, Raga, same well, yeah, yeah, plenty. Man, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Even KMC um, from Trinidad, mm. um, Iowa. Um, the same Bungie, we, 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 I'll never forget, we came, Bungie came up to Boston, uh -huh. you know, he was like, a, more like a, a, a sight, sightseer, if you want to put it that way. He wasn't okay. really there to perform, but he came up there and mm -hmm. he was amazed when he saw um, a couple of artists perform and so for JD, she's from Monster, right? So I've, I've, I've been there, um, like I said, in the background, pushing music, right. you know, okay. not just Vincent music or just pushing soca on a board because we are one family there. Okay. Okay. So you mentioned Luta, and I, I, I did, as I told you, I did a bit of digging. Yeah, I did a bit of digging. And so I heard that I found that you guys are close friends. Man, yeah, man. It's like my big brother right there, man. You know, trust oh. me, man. Luta, mm. I can always, I, I can't, I, I can't say enough how much, you know, he, he's, he's close, uh, how much he means and so oh. forth. Because um, when, when a lot of people was. Uh, they uh, didn't give me the support. He always, you know, said, Cameron, don't give up, man. Just keep doing it. You know, he always pushed me and tell me, Yo. one of the first, he would say, Yo, Cameron, just make sure you release your songs early. Make sure you send them to me early. So, you know. So he's I, the one who pushed for Body on Body? Yeah, he, you know, he, <laughs> love, he loves that song. He loves that song, okay. actually. Uh, against the world, he likes to. Okay. But, you know, he, he's always there, man. You know, if I pick mm -hmm. up my phone and call him, if he don't answer right away, he'll call me back and, and so forth. So we have a very good, we have a good relationship. That's, oh. my, that's, that's my big brother right there. Okay, so are we expecting a collaboration with him in time soon? Well, that will, that, I'm sure eventually, uh, once, um, once management and everybody sits down together and, and work something out, I'm sure, I'm sure that could happen, yeah. Okay, okay, so ho hold on. <laughs> Luther, I know you're watching, I believe you're watching, I know you're watching, because this is IK TV. So we're putting you on the spot right now and we're expecting a collaboration. You better, soon. Luther, you better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. We're going back again to TNT Carnival because yeah. that's the closest Carnival yeah, before yeah. Vinci Carnival, that's right. and we're anticipating the both of them. Yeah. Um, what, what What are you going to do after you leave Trinidad Carnival? When I leave Trinidad, oh, I got it. Um, no, I'm going to Barbados going because Barbados. Um, one, the same person I was telling you, um, mm -hmm. Deandra, um, from What's Up Caribbean, she set up. Like I say, you know, from the time she she saw the article in Trinidad, mm -hmm. she she gravitated to it and when she did her own research and she fell in love with a lot of the songs and she, she got some connections in, in Barbados for me for some interviews. So when mm -hmm. I leave Trinidad and went to Barbados, probably uh -huh. spend a day in Barbados and do some interviews and then right back to my family. Okay. Yes. Okay, so um, having grown basic, I'm not gonna say, I don't, I don't wanna use the word grown up because you grew up in, you, you grew up in St. Vincent. Yes. Okay, but having launched your music in the United States, mm -hmm. how has it been reaching the market? Because soca is generally a Caribbean thing, and yes, we're trying to get it international, but mm -hmm. how has it been for you getting soca into the market? Well, there's, there's, there, there could be a disadvantage and there could be an advantage there. Mm -hmm. um, because we have, we, 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 there's a stigma that's left now where it's, I remember back in the days, let me just, I'm going to answer the question, but I remember back in the days, you had Beckett, you had all these artists who were foreigners, who mm -hmm. they considered to be foreigners. Mm -hmm. they, they used to take over the market in St. Vincent, uh -huh. where DJs was anticipated, waiting for them to release their tracks, mm -hmm. and they're the ones that would get killed on most of the radio stations, right? Where right. we didn't have much radio stations back then. Okay. But then... I'm still a young man, so... Right, <laughs> me too. <laughs> but then... It, 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 there's a reverse in it now where we who live in abroad mm -hmm. is finding a hard time getting our music being played here where now we are we're supposed to be in a better advantage as far as 
we have the internet, we have radio station, but yet only a few from abroad will have that kind of advantage where their music will be played and the rest uh -huh. music some of them we will never hear. So I feel like there needs to be a balance there where, mm -hmm. you know, it shouldn't matter where you live, you're representing your country. And that's what that should be priority. You know, not 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 because you're friends with someone or, or whatever, you don't like the person. At the end mm -hmm. of the day, the person is a Vincent. Sure. Right. And so for let's 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 balance it out. And I think that mm -hmm. that 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 needs to change dramatically because in New York City where I'm living, uh -huh. my music so far right now, body on body, is getting a lot of rotation on a lot of other Caribbean countries radio stations. Mm -hmm. But again, all right. So uh -huh. we need to we need to get that balance. So it, it I'm at an advantage because I'm living over there and soca is to me soca is year round up there. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of Caribbean people that live in, in that mm -hmm. diaspora. So right. It's, I'm at an advantage here because I could release a track, let's say, in February, mm -hmm. you know, and... So if, you don't have to wait for a specific season? I don't have to wait for a specific season because, mm -hmm. you know, there's, there's enough DJs up there that, that can get the song and pump it and pump it because that's really how Lyrical mm -hmm. got his bus, you know, it's because he keep releasing these tunes and so forth and boom, somebody just start liking one of them and then now... He's, he's creating a buzz like crazy in Trinidad. So, so again, um, and I, I would advise any any artist don't don't just wait for just Carnival to release music, man. You know, we, we, there's too much. There's, we, 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 we're too far beyond beyond where we used to be to be releasing music just for Carnival. You know, okay. it shouldn't be just for that. So I, I try, I, I, I what I say I try to do. So I'm not releasing just music just for, just for, for Carnival, Carnival. No. So, okay. Okay, for young people that is getting into music, you said earlier that you help, you, 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 you're not biased to anybody, you're helping anybody, and you've been a middleman for a lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, St. Vincent is a, is a country that's filled with a lot of talent, and we have young people that are trying to get into music, but they don't have a way to push their music, they don't have somebody to give them advice or something. How, how would you go about advising them in contacting you? Contacting me, yeah. I, I'm putting you on. I'm putting you dead on the spot. Because well, I'm, I mean, I'm all over the place. I mean, you can reach me on Facebook. You can reach me on Twitter. You can reach me on Instagram. You can reach me on 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 Gmail, on Hotmail. I'm I'm there. And um, to me, again, it comes back to what I, I'm, I'm saying again. I mean, mm -hmm. I feel like you know, artists. We we we're there to perform and entertain people, but I think we're also there. To, to help someone else because you know you can have as much talent as possible you know at one day that talent is going to fade that talent is going to go away because mm -hmm. you're going to get old in age and so forth and, and at one time probably you're going to start say okay this got, this is getting too boring for me mm -hmm. but then somebody else is one somebody else is looking at you and mm -hmm. say okay I want to be the next Cameron or the next problem child or the next skinny so I um. feel like we have that obligation to help that next person and so forth so there are a lot more doors that needs to be open so uh, so again i have no problem anyone who want to reach out to me and ask for my help ask my advice and so forth you know but the, you know you gotta cover the basics and the basics is basically you know um building a good team around you people that you know that you can count on and rely on with your music and people will tell you the truth tell you okay you know, go back in the studio, do mm -hmm. this differently, and so forth. And constructive Exactly. Uh, and, and so forth. And at the same time, you yourself have to look into yourself and, mm -hmm. and ask yourself if this is what you really want to do. And know that the critics are going to be there, the bad mindness is going to be there, <laughs> you know, the pull downs the are going to be there, the mm -hmm. haters are going to be there. But they're all there for mm -hmm. a purpose. And once right. you understand that, you could be able to balance that out. And, and yeah. stay focused and stay the right course and just do what you do and, and believe in what you do. Stone. Exactly, because that's what I do. I don't, I don't get into the he says, she says. I don't get into the, the, the negative stuff. I listen because right. there's course. always something in there that you can that take you can use. and use to your advantage. So that's what I try to do. So, you know, I would advise any, any, any artist coming up, man, just believe in what you do. Because if you don't believe in it, who will? If you don't okay. sell the product, who's going to buy it? Okay. So... 
Believe in yourself. Okay, so as we're about to wrap up, you have anything you want to send out to, to our audience? Well, I, all I can say, man, is, you know, to big up all my fans because without them, there would be me. Um, so I gotta say thanks. I gotta say thanks to my family, those living in St. Vincent and those all over the world because my family is a huge family on both sides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta say thanks to them and, uh, and believing in me and, and, have, and giving me the support. And I gotta say thanks again to IK TV because I feel like I, I um, really like and admire what you guys are doing to, to bring a little more unity amongst the artists as far as getting themselves out there and so forth. Mm -hmm. it's good. This is a good medium. It's a good start and really appreciate that. And, and, and again, get ready for more from Cameron because it's not stopping. I got some tracks I'm actually working on and they're coming soon. So thanks again for everyone who supporting me, even those who are not, I still thank you because you're, you're, you're my driving force. Yeah. So thanks again. All right, Mr. Cameron, it was good having you in studio. Yes. Thanks for coming. Thanks a lot, man. All Appreciate right. it. All right, you've been watching IKTV. I'm Giovanni Zilon Richardson, and do join us again.